Hey folks. So, uh, last weekend I treated myself and bought myself a new PC. Well, bought the parts and built it myself. Um, and I've reinstalled Windows and I've copied all my DCS stuff over and the readings all great. Apart from I've lost all my bindings. Now, why have I lost my bindings? I'll explain quickly. So, here's our saved games folder. Config and then input. And then you have a folder for each of the individual aircraft of our aircraft stations. So I'm going to look at the Apache one today. So this is the Apache pilot one. Inside there you have a few different folders. And the one we're interested in today is the joystick one. So each device uh, has a name and it has an identifier string. This funky looking string here. And that's what Windows uses to determine what a device is. It's like its handle. Now, because I have um, reinstalled Windows and I've connected this hardware to um, this new machine, these config files, which is what DCS uses for the bindings, don't match the identifying string that is currently used on these devices right now. So what I'm saying is the name part here at the start, e.g. VPC Thrall MT50 is the same, but this string part here is different. So basically it means all the time and effort I put into setting these bindings and these joysticks up uh, no longer works. So there are two uh, ways you can do this. One, you can go to each aircraft in DCS, pick a device, as in the device column itself, and for example the access tab, and then go import and then import this old file. And then you have to do that for each single device times the amount of aircraft you currently have. So for me, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I would have to do that eight times for each aircraft times how many aircraft you own, which is a wee bit in the time consuming side. So I'm going to try to do a quick method to get around this by basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what the new identifier string for these is. And I'm just going to bulk rename all the files that match that category within all of these folders in one go. So let's try that out. So first off, we need to work out what our new identifiers are. And very, very handily enough for us, Whenever you run DCS, it goes through and parses all the configuration stuff or all the connected devices and then writes it to the DCS log file. Now the DCS log file lives in the log folder and that's it there. So what I've done is I have run the game, let it load up and then quit the game and then opened the log in a text editor and then copied out the relevant section, which you'll see here. So if we go back to config input we'll go for this one this is our example one for today and um, we can see for example let's go and have a look at uh, the throttle so there is the throttle identifier as it is now and there is the throttle identifier as it is uh, for the old machine so what I'm going to, be, going to basically do is I'm going to attempt to rename all the instances of this file within all the folders in one go. And use a utility called bulk rename utility for doing that, which I'll show you in a second. So the first thing we need to do is going to go rename control A to select all, control C, and then hit escape. So this is our old file name. And then we'll paste it again. And then we'll go and copy the new identifying part out, which is the bit that's actually changed. So there we go. So that is the old file with the correct config in it. And this is what the um, new file should be named. So we'll run up bulk rename utility, which is a freeware utility. We'll navigate to where our stuff is. Big input. Right, okay, so here's the folders all shown. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this little box called subfolders. And now it's going to show us all the files there. Okay, so that's us ready. So what we'll do 
This will take the old name, the old file name, go to the replace button box here, and we'll paste it in. And then we'll paste in the newly modified one, which is what we're going to want to rename it to. And then we just control A to select everything. Now it will only change the ones that um, match the first top string to the second string and then just click rename. Oh, that's weird because it renamed nothing. That is weird. Okay, what have I done wrong? Let's try and delete the little part at the end see if it's not like in a file extension. Ah, there we go. So, yeah, I have to rename the little part. Okay, it must only look at the first dot. So there we go. It's renamed 55 files. Um, and that's basically, that means that that one device has now been changed for all my aircraft without having to go in and individually do it. So I just got to work my way through the rest of these. So I'll go for the next one, uh, which is our VPC rotor. And yet again, control A, control C. Paste it down in here, remove the lower part. Okay, it's good to know that. Paste it again. And then go and look up when you identifier is. It looks like a lot of these are starting with 7 7 now. Okay, so that, that's it. You basically go and rinse and repeat and do that for each year of devices. Um, yes, indeed, you could go and manually import all the files. But like I say, I mean, I have eight devices per aircraft. So that could mean, um, say, I only had, I mean, say I own 10 aircraft, for example, that would be 80 times. I'd have to click on a whole bunch of different shit. And I own a hell of a lot more than 20 aircraft. So it would be more time consuming. So that's basically how you rename all, you know, like a whole bunch of files quickly and don't have to manually go and re-import everything so i hope this helps i'm going to continue on and do this so two devices down six more to go all right y'all take care right there bye